For this review we look at another version of WSI Models Tadano ATF70G4 Mobile Crane. This is a limited edition and it comes in the usual factory sealed box. That means using a knife carefully and avoid cutting off any bits of you that might be sticking out. This model is in the colours of Havator, a company based in Finland. It comes with a very good instruction manual and that includes a full parts list. And it covers what you need to know about the model. For the easy bit of assembly the crane can be got ready for the road and that just involves putting the counterweight on the deck. It goes there in transport mode in order to even up the axle loadings. After that the only other thing to do is to attach the optional lattice fly jib. And you might have to jiggle it about a bit in order to get the pin in that holds the jib in position. Let's dive into the detail and the transmission and suspension is very good. And there's a ladder modelled under the driving cab. The cab itself is nicely detailed and it's good to see that it has a number plate. One of the very nice details is the instrument cluster inside the cab. Behind the cab there are nice mesh grills and non-slip surfaces. The high standard of detailing continues inside the crane cab with nicely modelled joysticks. The crane body is very good with hydraulic hoses and sharp detailed graphics. The boom sections have got nice fin walls with Havator written on every one. At the boom head there's a safety chain and the multiple pulley block appears to be a single piece. The metal lattice fly jib is nicely formed, although the hook supplied is not ideal for use with the fly jib. We will start with a check of the transport characteristics and the Tadano rolls well on the test track. The suspension is good too with each of the axles being independently sprung and the steering is quite good because it holds a pose with the rear three axles having notched steering rather than continuously variable. For the other features we've reviewed this Tadano before so we'll let the Cranes Etc team set up the crane. take a quick look around a couple of the features and there are two opening covers on the engine compartment. This is a nice feature and there are detailed engine parts to be seen underneath. 
The main boom ram is a very nice part because it's metal. And you lock it at any extension with a key in a small grub screw. This is nicely engineered and it works well. Of course if you've spent your whole life dreaming of being a crane driver, you can raise and lower the hook. This particular model has been made in a number of different colour schemes. And this Havator version is one of the more attractive. The colours are very nice but the model itself has got a very good level of detailing. And there are plenty of interesting features as well. All of which makes the model good enough to be regarded as outstanding.